her way to the mill, proud and all out. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I've already shared my decorate with me with my bar cart and shared a yummy drink and a delicious little treat um, in that video. So if you have not seen that one yet, after this video, you can go back to that video and see how I decorated my bar cart for Halloween 2022. But as you guys saw in the title, today I am cleaning up a little bit in my kitchen and also decorating my kitchen for Halloween 2022. And I am so excited how it all turned out. This year for Halloween, I am decorating for a witchy theme. And I just love how everything is turning out. It's super witchy and spooky and just so perfect for Halloween. I love it so much, but I really hope that you enjoy Shay's video and enjoy all the decorating inspiration and ideas and motivation and that you just really enjoy it. So thank you so much for being here and let's get started and decorate for Halloween. So as you guys saw, I already did clean up the table and now I did um, just lay down the table runner and I do have these mossy looking picks with some faux leaves on them that I got from the Target dollar spot last year. They were like $3 each for a pick and they just go so perfect for Halloween. I love them so much and so I am laying them on the table and I'm just kind of going for like a, a skull and potion bottle theme on the tablescape well the table i think that turns out so spooky and so great i honestly love this so much and while i was decorating this before i did my mom and i actually talked about it and she kind of gave me the idea to do that she was like you should do like a full thing of like skulls and i honestly never thought about that but it was such a great idea and i'm so happy she did because i love how the table turned out it's super spooky and witchy and it just it has like a good like spooky feeling to it it just turned out so good so let me know where's your favorite place in the kitchen that i decorate in today's video and how you enjoy the decor and just everything i would love to know so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if it helped inspire you or motivate you just let me know please because that always lets me know and just gives me good feelings about the videos I create here on my channel and I just obviously want all of you guys to get something from my videos whether that's motivation or creativity or inspiration or just happiness I just all want to give you guys something so I really hope that you enjoy what I do in today's video to take away your sorrow Washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you Struggles. 
I am so happy with how the tablescape on the dining table turned out. I love all the details and just how spooky it is. I love that it has the spiders and the snakes and the skulls and the potion bottles, the poison apples, <laughs> even though they're just regular apples. They look like poison apples and the candles. It just looks so spooky and I love it all so much. I think it turned out so great and it just looks like I'm kind of walking into like a witch's kitchen. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight, if only just for a bit, there's a new day. It is way. Now I am over in my coffee area and I am going to first clean off the countertops because it was really disgusting and it just needed a good clean and I'm going to take down my fall decor and I want it to be pretty minimal over here since there is just a lot over here with all the produce and the veggies and the cookbooks and the coffees and everything like that so I want it to be pretty minimal so I did have this five dollar can that I got from the Target Bullseye section which is a pretty good price for how big like the jar is um, and then I also had these spooky um, Oreos that I got from Target as well that have like all these Halloween words on them and designs so I did fill it up with that and like the frosting's orange as you can see and then I also just laid a potion bottle with a black pumpkin that is in the dollar spot as well with a skull a spider and a snake and it's just super simple but it still has a spooky vibe to it and it looks super good and you can also eat the Oreos which is obviously a desire so <laughs> I love how I turned how this place turned out and I just love this little area it's super delicious but also spooky Now I am working on the floral decor that I have that I will be putting on top of my fridge and I just have this black pitcher that I've had for a couple of years. I got it in the dollar section in 2020 at Target and it just works so perfect for Halloween since it is black and it's super cute. Um, and then I'm just filling it up with some sticks that look like branches and faux um, florals that I'm filling up in this picture and just making it look kind of spooky but also very minimal for the top of the fridge and then I'm just going to put it on top of my fridge with some pumpkins in a basket and that is pretty much it for the decor that's going on top of my fridge very simple but also gives a nice spooky vibe and adds a little bit more height and decor on top of my fridge I love decorating on top of my fridge I know it sounds a little weird but 
but I love how it always turns out and like I said it adds something to look at and also some more height on top of the fridge so it doesn't look just awkward and once you start decorating in places that you used to not once you stop decorating in those places they look so bare so it's kind of hard for me not to decorate up here now that I've been doing it for two years <laughs> Time to borrow today Well, something's got to give today It's a good day today And not tomorrow There's no time to borrow today Well, something's got to give today also, why I added the pumpkins is because it just gives it a little bit more texture and color up there. So it's not just all black and dark. It also adds in like some white and orange and a little bit more black, but some difference to the top of the fridge. <laughs> Running from all things at once without thinking twice. And I the last area I will be decorating in today's video is on top of my pantry. The pantry is always the hardest. I say this every in every single decorating video that I have been doing for two years. I say it every single time. The pantry is the hardest for me. I am super short. I'm only 5'1", and so standing on top of a stool to get on top of my pantry to decorate on there is pretty challenging. And then also the ledge at the top of the stairs to bend over and decorate on top of the pantry is very difficult so no matter what it's very difficult but not decorating up there it just it's so bare and it's so awkward in the kitchen that when I decorate up here it just makes a huge huge difference and it makes me so happy and it makes my family happy so I like to just go through that just to make it look good even though it's such a pain um, but I love how it turned out over on like the top of the pantry I used more of that black spider webbing and then added a little bit more potion bottles and the spooky hat book decor I got at TJ Maxx last year I love it so much and then more skulls and more pumpkins and I got that realistic well that a real pumpkin at Target it was three dollars in their produce area and I loved that stem it's super long and just witchy and it just looks so good and then obviously I added more pumpkins like I said but mini pumpkins a spider and some candles I have that black candle that is fake that I got last year in the dollar spot section at Target and I also have that real LED candle um, that I got from Hobby Lobby so this is how the pantry turned out and I love it so much. It's super spooky and it just goes so well in the kitchen. This is honestly my favorite part of the kitchen. I love how the pantry turned out and the bar cart. But let me know where your favorite spot is that I decorated in today's video for Halloween 2022. Lastly, I am just going to clean up the island because it was super messy and there was lots of decor pieces everywhere. So I need to clean that off of the countertop and then I'll just show you a little overview but thank you all so much for being here and watching today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that I gave you some inspiration and motivation and some happiness and some spooky vibes for Halloween 2022 please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and you can also follow my Instagram our little bloom and I will see you all again next time thank you so much for being here friends bye to be with you Unexpected love was found You're the road